We are following breaking news out of Southern California. At least 11 people shot inside of a nightclub uh, in Ventura, California. This is a look from above the borderline bar and grill where a gunman went inside on College Country Night and began shooting. We are now hearing, though, that that gunman is believed to be dead. All of this playing out around 11 p.m., 11.30 Pacific time, and then the reports came soon afterwards. 11 people shot. We we're told that uh, that number is expected to go up. Among the injured, a sheriff's mm -hmm. deputy, and we're hearing from the Ventura County Sheriff's Office that they do expect the number to go up because some of those people who were injured inside of the nightclub drove themselves to the hospital, and so they don't have a clear number of how many people were injured. We want to go live now to ABC News correspondent Alex Stone, uh, who's been making his way to the scene. Alex, what can you tell us? Yeah, Marcy, uh, here on scene right now, and a uh, large police presence, the area shut down. I was just talking to uh, a couple of college students who uh, say that this is a place that they all go to on Wednesday nights, that, that it is known that it is college night, that uh, they say tonight, talking to their friends who were inside, that, that it was a, a relatively quiet night tonight compared to, to what some of the college nights at Borderline Bar and Grill uh, can be. But now they're waiting for word on their friends, their friends who they believe were inside and they have not heard from them they're trying to get them on text message they're trying to get them on snapchat to find out if they're okay the numbers have been going up originally it was six who were injured now it's up to 11. Uh, it is now confirmed that the the gunman he is dead he inside of the building here but still many questions that we don't know on on motive and on, on exact numbers all of that very fluid right now yeah, we've heard from witnesses that the gunman was wearing all black, walked in, uh, shot a sheriff, or a security guard rather, possibly through smoke bombs, and then began firing randomly towards the dance floor. Uh, we're also hearing that uh, he may have reloaded his weapon at least once and just fired continuously. Uh, what are what else are you hearing from witnesses who were there inside of the club? Yeah, and as you're talking, uh, the Ventura County uh, Rescue Armored Vehicle just pulling out that they're beginning to demobilize some of the, the uh, efforts and some of the, the teams who are here. A number of fire engines have been pulling out as well. But now that they believe that they have this scene contained, that they no longer need uh, many of the resources uh, that were flowing in. But there is still a massive response here on scene. Uh, as I look over the, the area toward the bar, it is just flashing red and blue lights. Uh, in the, the nighttime sky, number of deputies uh, standing around. We know the FBI and the ATF are here on scene. They are, we are told, uh, by both of those agencies, they are assisting right now. This is not their investigation. It would become their investigation if there was some indication of terrorism. But at this point, they don't have that indication. So this is a local Ventura County investigation. Uh, if they get information that it goes down that road, well, then the, the FBI would take over the investigation. The ATF, no doubt, will quickly try to figure out the weapon that was involved here, where it came from, what, uh, uh, where the, the suspect got it from, exactly what type it was, all of that yet to be determined. And Alex, what do you know of this particular area, this part of Southern California, Ventura County? Well, it's a popular bar, popular area. Uh, as you get off of uh, the 101 freeway, it is uh, for folks who know Southern California and Ventura County, it looks like any exit that you could get off of uh, on in this area uh, of a lot of strip malls, uh, coffee shops. It's uh, around uh, the, the local college campus, and that's why it was so popular, uh, this the bar and grill, country bar and grill, country nights on Wednesday night, and uh, for students, this is where they knew they could come and, and get a drink and, and have a good time in the evening. Many of those nights would be very packed inside. Yeah. Uh, one local college student telling me that uh, that it is a big bar, that when you go inside, not really knowing what that means, but compared to, to many bars, when you walk inside, it, it's quite large. And let's give you a sense of what it looks like inside of that bar. We, this is file video that we have uh, of the, the bar on the country line dancing night. And this is the most popular night of the week. So once again, this is file tape, but it's- But what, from the borderline bar and from grill. From the borderline bar and grill. So just get your head around that. This is how popular this bar might have been last night when that gunman walked in and started opening fire on a bunch of young people who were there just trying to have some fun. 
Because there were hundreds of people, we're told, inside at the time. And so that really does kind of give you a sense of what it could have looked like in there. This happened uh, just before 1130 mm -hmm. uh, Pacific time. And we heard from a promoter that that's just around the time it really starts getting busy there. There could have been people lined up outside. Yeah. Um, so a huge crowd there as this gunman came in open fire seemingly at random according to witnesses. Yeah, and it is so striking to see some of the images that we've gotten so far. Young people who are there, who are limping out of there, being helped by their fellow young people. This was an 18 plus night. It is the youngest night of the week. It is the most popular night among college students. Alex mentioned California Lutheran University is right nearby. This is just an average and normal neighborhood in America and then violence once again. And it's such a terrifying scene. We're hearing about people who are inside breaking windows with chairs, mm -hmm. climbing into the attic, hiding in restrooms, just not knowing what direction to go in to be able to be safe. And we're now hearing from uh, yet another witness who was there um, as this all unfolded. A guy that I know, well, I don't really know him. He was able to throw me out the window. They broke, they threw, they threw, they had chairs and they threw them out the window and they were able to take me and the girlfriend that I was with and just got us out the window and carried us right up here and we were able to get picked up by a guy friend of ours and get back to our cars and that's how I got to him. Did you see any injured people? Um, I saw one person who was at the front who I heard might be not have made it. <coughs> it's college night. It was insanely crowded. It's always yeah, insanely I mean, crowded. Every every time. We've been going here for years. It's always it's always crowded. I, I I was able to get out like so I don't really know how long it was going on for, but at the time at least felt like more than five minutes. At least more than five minutes. And then I think it maybe probably went on for at least ten. Wait, what was more than five minutes? She was thinking the shooting or the incident went on for that long. Um, yeah, that, that's not clear, but we, I, we but are I could imagine it just it feels longer than it. Right, hard to wrap been. your head around how yeah. much time is passing when, as you're experiencing something like this, I would imagine. But we are hearing that the gunman uh, may have reloaded at least mm -hmm. once. Still unclear what kind of gun was used. But uh, to yeah. recap, important to mention that we are now hearing reports that that gunman is dead inside of the club. So uh, the scene is now safe, but they are still working to update the numbers of how many people were injured. They say at least 11, mm -hmm. but they expect that to go up because uh, some people did drive themselves yeah. to nearby hospitals. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.